Sorry, kid, but there's really no escaping, so you may as well just stop trying to resist. You didn't get yourself into this situation after all. Ah, poor guy. Crying for help will get you nowhere. Just look around. Not a single soul is going to come to your rescue. This is our world now, and you're at our mercy. So just be a doll and keep your trap shut, and do what your goddesses demand of you. Hey girls, what's going on in here? Oh, Maddie, didn't expect to see you here. What are you doing here? Oh, why? I left my workout shoes in my locker, so that's why I'm here. But what's all this? You remember this little dweeb? Oh, well, of course I know him, but why is he wearing that ridiculous outfit? And why is he here of all places? Well, we're just having a fun little role play with our little pet here, and we just thought this place was the perfect bad stage for his little performance. Yeah, and we we're just about to take him on a fun little adventure of a lifetime. Care to join? Hmm. An adventure, you say? That sounds rather interesting, but may I ask, what sort of adventure do you guys have planned? Oh, you know, just dragging him along home in this bag. We're probably going to get food on the way. Interested? Well, I might consider it, but, um, is that saliva he's covered in? Well, you know, sometimes these tiny just need to learn their place. Yikes. So that's what you two have been doing? I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty messed up. Messed up? Oh, come on, don't you pick on them, like, all the time? Well, yeah, but I just see what I do as a little teasing every now and then. Nothing like this. Well, let's not forget about the wedgies, hiding his lunchbox, and, you know, always making him hand over the homework answers. Is that all just small teasing? Well, I don't know, probably not, but... Whatever's going on here is way over the line. It's not right. And for what? For what? How about the two weeks of detention we got from Mrs. Johnson? Because this little fan just had to stick his nose where it didn't belong. It's only fitting we return a favor. He didn't do whatever it takes to make sure he doesn't do it again. Have you lost your mind? You know, I heard some of the stuff you were planning to do. And all because he snitched on you? Well, we gotta send a message somehow. Right? Hey, usually I'm all for if, oh, if someone crosses you, it's fair game to mess with them a bit, but driving him down here and treating him like this is just beyond cruel. Not to mention this little shrimp can't even defend himself against you two. Well, it's not our fault that he bit off more than he could chew. Yeah, the little twerp really has no one to blame but himself. What's even a point in ganging up on him like that? That's such a coward thing to do. Oh, come on. It's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, you'd probably be doing the same thing if happened to you. Wouldn't you? Um, I would never... Hmm. Really? Come on, don't lie. It's not like you're a saint or anything either. Tell us. Why is it that all of a sudden he cares so much about what we do? Lift this little inset. Maybe she has a crush on the little rascal now. His match is priceless. He needs a big girl like her to come and protect him. Well, it's not that, but I just recognize there's a fine line between teasing and actually hurting someone. And I think the poor guy suffered enough, so I think you should just release him. Release him? But we weren't finished with him yet. Why should we? Yeah, I think we'll be keeping him company for just a little longer. Hmm? What are you going to do about it? Hmm. Perhaps I'll just have to take this up with the principal. I'm sure he'll have a lot more than just two weeks of detention for this. Oh, please. Like anyone would ever believe you. Yeah, but if a track record like yours, they'd probably think you're in on it as well. He'd probably get suspended. Or even worse, it's failed. So yeah, probably not the wisest choice, but you do you. I hate to admit it, but I suppose you do have a point. But that doesn't mean I'm out of options. Hand him over to me. Now. Hmm. <laughs> do you really think you can take the both of us? Before you do something stupid, I really suggest you think this through. Well, it looks like you leave me no choice. Ow! What the- 
hand him over. Ah, what? Ah! I said hand him over. Hey. Watch yourself. Uh. Ow. Drop him. Hey, watch yourself. Ah. Oh. You oh. should have listened to me. Oh. You little... Ah! Frick. Come on, we gotta get out of here. You. You won't get away with you this. You regret this. You hear me? Yeah. And we're out. Huh. Are you... Are you doing okay? They didn't hurt you, did they? Uh, no, 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 no. Please don't worry. I know we've had our... Differences, but... I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? Let me just... Wipe that off of you. Oh, don't worry, this is clean. Man, I can't believe what they were planning to do with you. Is that all they were doing? I was just about to get my running shoes when I heard those two in there and I heard you screaming. I wasn't entirely sure what was going on or what I missed, but it really sounded like they were up to no good. But I never would have expected them to have you in there. Oh yeah, I heard about what happened the other day with them getting detention and all, but I never thought they'd resort to that. I mean, I get those two to be very troublesome, but... The way they ganged up on you like that and stuffing you in their duffel bag was... I don't know, it was just a whole another level of pettiness. Hey. Are you okay? What's wrong? Oh. I get it. You're still worried about those two, aren't you? I guess I would be too if I were your size. But hey, don't worry. If you don't feel safe, just remember... I'll be there to protect you. Why? Well, I know you may have a hard time trusting me. It's true that I haven't been the kindest to you in the past, but... The thing is... I don't know, I was just sort of scared. Yeah, believe it or not, I too get scared. Quite often, in fact. Well... I was scared of what... What everyone would have thought of me. Because... The thing is, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I've liked you for a while now, but I wasn't sure why. I mean, of all the people I could like, it, it just had to be the one tiny person in class. Sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? But you're always so kind and sweet, even to those who aren't nice to you. You're one of the smartest people in class, and... I guess I thought you were always kind of adorable. Ian with that funny dress on. And <laughs> no, I'm sorry. And I admit it's kind of heat seeing you do all that stuff for the teachers when no one else does. Despite your size. Whenever I thought about you, I felt vulnerable and I felt I was weak for having such feelings. You managed to marry out a side of me that I didn't even know I had. A gentle and caring side. I thought about how I could hold you and protect you, and how I can speak to you and stuff, and I guess it made me just feel really weird and stuff. I mean, everyone sees me as this big tough girl that's not to be messed with, but what would they say if they found out that she had such a soft side for liking the tiny guy? I figured they'd all think less of me. And... I figured they'd all think less of me. Heck, I even thought less of myself at times. And I figured you never liked me since... I came off as... Intimidating as mean, so... I tried to control how I felt. But I just didn't know how to do so. In my head, I kept trying to convince myself that I didn't have feelings for you, but... It didn't really work out, and... I guess I didn't know how to handle it. And if work got out... I don't think the rest of the class would ever let me hear the end of it. I go from being one of the popular girls to being the laughing stock of the class. I'm sure you know what that's like, right? I mean, 
being a bit tough girl, going all soft for the tiny, I could already imagine all the gossip going around behind my back. That's kind of why I always picked on you. I didn't want to do anything harsh to you, but I thought if I picked on you just, just enough, maybe those feelings would go away. I know, it was stupid of me. I just never felt like this before. I just didn't know how to handle these sort of things, and... Well, I tried to convince myself that... That the stuff I was doing to you wasn't that bad. But even still, I've seen how you are. The only tiny in our class. And I saw how... Hard of a time you had fitting in before school. And was everyone doing similar things to you? Mocking you and ignoring you? It made picking on you feel worse. Although I tried my best not to show it after all this time. I know, I know. It isn't just by what I did and I can't undo the harm that I've caused, but that's why I did all those things. I'm sorry for that. It wasn't really anything against you, it was just it was just me playing along with I guess what the others expected of me. But when I saw how they were treating you, inside something inside me changed and it was like I don't know, I think it was finally starting to come to my senses. I didn't know how much bullying could just bring so much pain to someone. When I saw the fear in your eyes, the tears, I knew I had to do something. I just hope you never felt that the way I treated you was ever that bad. And I hope one day, maybe you could forgive me for my actions and maybe we could even be friends. Well, at this point, I don't really care what the others think of me. I don't know if you could ever learn to like me or not after what I've done, but regardless of what happens, I'll always be there for you from now on. I don't want you to feel lonely anymore. I want you to feel safe and welcomed here. So don't worry. I'll protect you from now on. And not just from those two, but anyone who wants to mess with you. You're welcome. Now, would you like to come home with me? I could get you cleaned up and make you something to eat. No, don't worry about it. Just think of it as my way of saying sorry for what I did. But if you're not comfortable going home with me, I can just walk you back to your place. I wouldn't mind. Oh, so you want to go home with me? Alright then, sounds like a plan. I'm not sure why, but... I feel like this is the start of something special, don't you think so? If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button, and if you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. I hope you have a lovely day. Mwah.